Uh, good morning and welcome. In this presentation, I will talk about uh, AFL and uh, the CDF SIG events protocol on cloud events. So agenda for today, uh, we'll talk a little bit about CDF and explain what SIG events is, uh, talk about the protocol, and then I was aiming to demo a POC that we've been working on, but of course it doesn't work for me today. Um, so unfortunately I can't do the demo, um, but I can talk a little bit about it. Um, so what is CDF? Uh, CDF stands for Continuous Delivery Foundation. And when they say continuous delivery, they include uh, the CICD. So it's both continuous uh, integration, deployment and delivery. That is what they think is continuous delivery. And they claim to be an open source community, improving the world's ability to deliver software with securing a speed. So that's a kind of the tagline. So CDF is part of the Linux Foundation umbrella. Uh, in there, there's a lot of, of different um, uh, organizations. So you might have heard of CNCF, Cloud Native Computer Foundation. So that is a, a sister organization. Uh, and the reason that uh, the CDF uh, exists is that in CNCF, they are focusing on, on like containerizing microservices and so on but they don't think that the, the CDs related tooling is really part of their space. So that is why there's a separate um, contestative foundation. Um, taking a look at the projects that's hosted by the Continuous Deliver Foundation. Um, so you might recognize Jenkins. Uh, this is their uh, graduated project. And uh, then they have other predecessors, Tekton, Spinnaker, Screwdriver, Jenkins X, which is uh, thought to be the new uh, Jenkins uh, cloud native. And they've also this alien looking thing called uh, Ortelius. And so these ones are then uh, CDM pipeline orchestrations, whereas this is a more or less a, a CM world. And uh, if you're sharp eyed, you notice that we've got uh, AFIL here in this landscape. Uh, it's not hosted by it, but we're still part of it. Uh, so then SIG events. It's chaired by Emil uh, as well for the conference and uh, Andreas Fitri from IBM. He has uh, a big role in Tekton. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, SIG events have two different meanings. We have um, uh, both an uh, official SIG, like a TC group, and then we have a work, vocabulary work group where we're working on the vocabulary. And so they started like a stream inside another SIG called interoperability. And SIG stands for special interest group. So that is the way they um, divide in inside a CDF. You got um, interest groups and they look for different things. So events is one, interoperability is one. And um, segment stream or vocabulary stream uh, was created in June 2020. And it became a SIG now in February 2021. So it's, I guess, an open source world rather young. Uh, whatever focus areas, we're trying to define and the protocol, protocol vocabulary. Uh, also, uh, we have an SDK that we're doing. And um, we are creating this POC also, that unfortunately I couldn't get to work today. Uh, who's part of the SIG? A bunch of different companies, some you might um, recognize. So then this protocol then, um, I would say it's basically a basic draft. Um, we here, Emil and I, who's part of this one, is trying to make it compatible with AFIL. And biggest difference is, this part is based on cloud events instead. So um, these are the current suggested events, and I will dig into them a little bit more um, as we go along. 
if you have any questions, I think it's easier if you reach out and just uh, name them. So if we start with activity events, in AFL we've got uh, activity trigger, cancel, finish and started. Uh, but here uh, the idea current thinking is more on a little more concrete events, so it's not these uh, generic events. So there's pipelines, there's tasks, there's builds, uh, quid, started, finished, um, but we don't have any uh, cancelled events here. Uh, in AFL, we've got these short source change created events and source stage submitted events. Uh, the current thinking here is a little bit more towards a change as we have in Garrett or a pull request um, that we have in um, in GitHub. And um, I hear some squeaking noise. I wondered if it was me doing it or if it was somebody else. I oh, know it's not. Um, so there's a little bit of thinking here. Um, we have, a, for example, uh, that a pull request is created, reviewed, it's merged, it's bound, and updated. So it's more uh, connected, like concrete events connected to a pull request for a change. But we call it a changed here. Question. Yes. All source code changes aren't done through pull requests. So I hope that's being accounted for. Yes. Um, is currently that is not the case. Um, I think that it's been a, in a, like a good practice to do it. So we started with uh, with working with this one here. I've got a couple of other ones um later on but i we don't have any specific event for like um direct merge in in um uh, on the master currently at least so that is a, a feedback did that answer your question uh yes it did and also if we could Go back one slide. Um, what was the reason for splitting? I mean, what's the what's the difference between a pipeline, a task, and a build? And I'm a little bit curious why a less generic uh, representation was chosen. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Emil, if you have anything, you can punch in here also. Um, I think they were looking at uh, when the discussion was motivation was more on that. Um, they wanted more. They were looking at more concrete like things what's happening. So a pipeline um, is uh, something that exists in pretty many places, and then you have a task inside a pipeline. Uh, so it's been more focused on like concrete items. Um, than actually uh, uh, general activity events. Um, uh, I guess my input there would be that uh, I think we haven't really discussed this through enough yet. I mean, uh, I agree with you, Magnus, that there are, I mean, build is a very specific thing, and there are a bunch of such specific things that you could imagine events for them. So why should we choose build and not anything else? And uh, there has so far uh, in the POC work and in this early draft work, uh, I mean, people involved there have wanted to have a build event, but uh, I guess the, the final say is not stated there yet. Uh, so it might be so that we transform builds into tasks or, I mean, make them generic tasks instead or something like that, or we will instead create a lot of different specific events. Uh, that remains to be seen. But this is just the, the current snapshot of the very early draft, which could change in any way, I would say. Yeah, um, and thankfully we also have Eric um, part of the conference is also part of it, discussions. Um, 
I will later on come into a uh, branch update, which might be uh, could probably maybe capture uh, this part here. Um, but yeah, if there isn't, were you satisfied there, Minus? Yeah, yeah, please continue. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, this is branch update. It's going to come a little bit later. Uh, when it comes to tests, AFL has a test case uh, trigger, cancel, start, and finished. Here we have uh, queued, start, and finished. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and we also have test suite, uh, which has been uh, pretty much modeled from uh, from AFL. So there we have even um, adapting. Uh, artifacts events then. Uh, in AFL we have the, the created events, we have the published events, and we also have reviewed events. Uh, in CDF, we call it packaged and published. So that's the current thought there. Uh, in AFL, we have uh, environment defined events. And I should say, for those that are aware, I'm talking about uh, the core AFL parts. And there is an extension to it. Uh, but those ones I'm, I'm not taking part of. Us. Uh, I'm not talking about them here. Uh, in CDF, um, we have many people come from a cloud native environment. Uh, so here they see that an environment should be created and modified and deleted. Uh, so it's a little bit more events here. So diving into areas which I thought didn't really have any correspondence. Uh, so you, for example, have a service. Um, a service is deployed, it's upgraded, is rolled back and removed. And these ones we don't have in the current core AFIL parts right now. Um, <clears throat> uh, here we have a bunch of other events that are <coughs> um, that are specific. So we have, for example, repository. Uh, it's created, it's modified, it's deleted. And we have a branch uh, that's created and deleted. Um, so maybe um, you could model uh, the uh, direct commit with these ones. But uh, yeah, currently this is what we have here. Um, I can see that repository and branch things are not really captured in AFL, so it's a, a little bit more here but maybe missing the direct commit thing. Um, we have several events that we don't have a correspondence. Uh, there are discussions, uh, but a full confidence level modified event uh, is nothing we have. Uh, composition defined events. Uh, we have been talking about the confidence level modified. We have also discussed the composition defined events. Uh, it, feels a little bit like if you're working with hardware, you you would need this war. If you're coming from a pure software container-based world, they don't seem to have see the uh, the big usage for it. But there's discussion ongoing. Uh, we have the flow context defined event. Um, this one is is not uh, any correspondence. In AFL we have um, Issue verified and issue defined event. Uh, we don't currently have anything there, even though there's been discussions ongoing. And uh, announcements published event is also, there's no correspondence towards it. So maybe uh, AFIL is a little bit more uh, towards uh, kind of like with ticketing and so on. and. The event, uh, CDF events right now is a little bit more on the service side. So if you take a look at one event, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I've also placed the art of AFL events here. If you're not, you don't have them in the head. Uh, currently, it looks like this, but this is the current snapshot. Uh, we have a couple of different um, uh, items here. Uh, these ones are defined by the cloud event specification. Uh, so you have uh, type type 
uh, spec version is the version of the cloud events. And there is a data part also that I forgot to paint. And currently, uh, all the items are placed here in the root. And there has been discussions that we should move them inside here uh, to differentiate them a little bit more. But that's how it looks. So basically names. And if you take a look at the A full part, uh, you can probably see that the meta part would probably be corresponding to uh, this base uh, cloud event part. And uh, we haven't discussed Purell yet, but I think. Um, I guess there's a little bit more file information. And links, uh, we've discussed it and presented it, but uh, uh, currently there is, we don't have it in the protocol, but we're working with it. Um, so if you have a, a killer argument or something for why we need links, um, we can have a discussion about it. Uh, taking another event to give an example, so pipeline start event. Um, we have still the base things from cloud events. Uh, we have a pipeline run URL. And we have a status, we have a name and so on. Uh, and then again, there's discussion of moving inside. Uh, in uh, the Eiffel world, we have the activity started. Um, so here, for example, we have a connection to live logs and also links uh, that we don't currently have anything. Uh, so the summary, um, this one is based on, on cloud events. And many other participants come from a cloud background. And we don't have any links, but discussion is ongoing. Uh, so, uh, do we have any questions so far? More questions, I should say. I take that as a no. Well, yeah, how big do you? Yeah, what do you think? What's the? What are the chances for this to become big? Um, I mean, I scroll back a couple of slides. Um, as long as we've got people with us that are interested in it, and um, yeah, can can affect. So, for example, as we have Tekton on board, uh, we have. Uh, Dynatrace does Captain. Uh, we have CloudBees and uh, that's working with Jenkins. So we have uh, some big players on board and we're trying to reach others. Uh, we talked with Argo, for example, if we can uh, connect with them. So as long as we got uh, big players on board and can spread a message, I think it can actually be big. Uh, and hopefully we can actually have a standard that that is out of the box. So if you if you run Tekton, if you run Jenkins, you get these cloud events um, from scratch. So um, there is hope for this to be big. Does that answer your question? Yes, thanks. Have you been thinking about some migration paths or so? I know it's early, but. Um, you mean from uh, from yeah, Eiffel mig to migration or, or some kind of world we're living using both at the same time or um, do we have any good answer to that one, Emil? No, I mean of course we have thought of it, but we haven't any don't have any plans yet. Uh, but of course, as Matthias was into as well earlier, there, uh, that we we hope that it should be compatible with Eiffel, which means that it should be possible to to have like a bridge between Eiffel uh, and, and, and a message bus where Eiffel is sent and a message bus where these events are sent so we can translate back and forth. That's still our our uh, hope. And mm -hmm. uh, I certainly hope that we will come there. 
Otherwise, right. it might be a very, very big work for, for us, at least uh, yeah, us who are currently working with Eiffel, to, to change to something completely different. That uh, would be a, a lot more cumbersome, of course, than if it would be possible to just translate the events in an easy way. Mm, nice, good. A question regarding the links, Emil. What is your perception there? Because when I worked in Ericsson and also in Axis, I feel that a lot of the motivation behind AFL is re related to the traceability achieved by the links. So if we lose that in, in SIG, what, what, what is the point? Yeah, it's a very good, good question. And uh, as Matthias also said, we are we are talking about links in the community. Uh, I actually made a presentation about uh, exactly how, how links could help for traceability and other reasons uh, on the CDCon this uh, spring. Uh, and it was, uh, I mean, the interest there was, was good. Uh, after that, we haven't really discussed it much uh, anymore. But uh, I agree, links is a very crucial concept in Eiffel. Uh, what is maybe the the other idea then, instead of using links, is to have some kind of context, uh, like a flow context or a pipeline context or something to, to relate different events to. But we see big benefits with using links instead, uh, because the context is such a broad concept that it, it, you can't really uh, get the, the benefits you get from links by just using a common context between all, all different events. Uh, so I still hope that we will come there. And I think that if we will not be able to get our links or get some kind of links or references into the events, this will not be interesting for us in Eiffel anymore. Uh, it might be so that, or I, I at least hope that we will at least have optional links in the events so that we can apply links. And then later on, maybe we can show our, we can showcase our use of, of these events and. Uh, then hopefully people will understand better why they would be needed. But uh, I certainly hope that we could at least have optional links in the events. Yeah, optional would of course be enough because then the ones needing it can use it and the other ones don't have to. But yeah, so, sounds like a good plan at least. Hope, I hope you will get it in. So this, this context you, you spoke of, Emil, how would that be materialized in the events? Uh, we have, I mean, today we have the flow context, for example, in Eiffel, uh, and that could be, instead of having it as a separate event, it could just be a string in the event. And I think you have it there, some, isn't there in the artifact? No, it's not there. I think in the captain events, there is a, a context, right, Matthias? I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but captain yeah, there is a tool. They use uh, context to, to, and then the same context value, same context ID is sent in all their events for one certain pipeline execution. And that way they can uh, afterwards see what events were sent from the same pipeline execution. Uh, and that's one way to, of course, group events, but you can't really see uh, what event followed after another event. No, I mean, that, that's, that's sort of like links, but without all the benefits. Yeah, but of course the, the timestamp in somehow somehow reveals in what uh, cadence or in in what order things has happened, but it's not as as uh, as potential as as the links are. I would say. So, um, yeah. my feeling there is that the people that are coming from, um, depending on what background you're coming from, if you're coming from. Uh, kind of like simpler pipelines. Uh, so unfortunately, I couldn't get up Kepton to work, but in Kepton you have, uh, maybe as in another tool, pipelines that you can actually show inside a GUI. Uh, and they're in, at least from American perspective, quite small pipelines. And then it's just to, you know, collect this one into one pipeline. But if you get these big, very complex pipelines, then you're hitting the issue. And if you not, uh, have worked with them, you might not see the benefit of them. So I think that's a lot of it. What we're struggling is is uh, giving out examples of bigger pipelines uh, than we have uh, than the people that are working 
uh, they're in this, the SIG today have seen, if that makes any sense. So, uh, any more questions? Just an update on time, Matthias. We have three minutes left. Do you have any more slides? Yeah. Is it just questions now? Or? Uh, as I couldn't get the the park to to run, uh, I can just mention them one minute. Uh, yeah. The park was between Tecton and Kepton. Uh, Tecton, if you don't know, it's a cloud solution for building CI/CD systems. Kepton is a cloud of applications for orchestration. And the idea was that you start by Tecton, you pick it up in Kepton, you do something, and this was a quality gate, and then you let Tecton, uh, you build the deploy, build the artifact, and Kepton will say yes, and Tecton will deploy it. And so there. So that was all I had. So then we are two minutes left. Anything more? Any, any more questions? Uh, I see Eric, you are in the meeting. Do you have any comments from you on this since you are also involved in the in the SIG? Yeah, I'm not sure if I, I can be heard correctly, but uh, yes. I would say uh, it's, I, I think the work is exciting. It's a bit slow. It's been especially slow over the summer. I hope we'll pick up speed during the fall, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of different interests and stakeholders that we're trying to to align on things, which makes things a bit slow. It's still, if we can reach this goal of having a common standard, that it can be highly valuable. Yeah, I think we heard you. It's a bit hard, There's some background noise there, but I think we heard you. That's good. Thanks, Eric. So Eric is part of the the SIG, uh, also discussing the vocabulary a lot in in the SIG. Okay, no more questions. Thank you, Matthias.